We give honor to the Holy Ghost that's already in this house. We give honor to this illustrious pastor, Pastor Smith. We give honor to this beautiful First Lady, First Lady Smith, and to all the officers, members, and guests of the Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Uh, we greet you in the name that's above every name, the name that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that he's King of King and Lord of Lord. We truly thank God for this wonderful opportunity to stand behind the sacred desk and to declare his word. Amen. Because we know that it had to be laid on the pastor's heart by God for him to call a little young country preacher just to give a little Easter speech on a Sunday such as this. I promise I won't worry your patience long, and I thank God for all these other great pastors, amen. They already set the tone, so all I got to do is just say a few words and sit my little happy self down, amen, and get on back to Dixiana, amen, amen. But I thank God for my church family, a portion of them being with me on today, amen. And let me tell you, I know that they love me, amen, because we had family and friends day, and they were at the park, amen, and look, they still showed up, so I thank God for them pressing their way, amen, I thank God, amen, for all of them, I thank God for Mama Brown, amen, one of our ministers with us, we got deacons, trustees, deaconesses, all the members that are here, amen, and I thank God for my family being here, amen, and I'm not going to call no names because I don't want to leave anybody out, but I'm going to ask that all my family to stand at this time, amen, all of my family, if you can to me, amen, Amen, because I don't want to leave nobody out. Amen. I got my uncles, my aunts standing. Amen. Amen. Cousins. Amen. I see my family. Amen. So I thank God for my family. Amen. I thank God, amen, for the best mother in love that anybody could have. My mother in love. Amen. Miss Wanda. Amen. Thank God for my parents who are tuned in live. Amen. And I thank God, amen, for the boss of the house that I live in, my son, Mr. Kingston Coakley, amen, amen. One thing, you ain't going to mess with me long as he's around, amen. He got my back, amen. But I thank God for a lady that I met off of 692 off of Riley Circle, a lady that I met over 12 years ago, a lady I fell in love with, a lady that I came with, and a lady I'm leaving with, none other than the first lady and the co-pastor of the Living Waters Church, uh, First Lady Coakley. Amen, 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 amen. She got my back, amen, so I know I'm all right to go because she's going to push me, amen. Now we don't done all of that. That's five minutes gone. All I got is five minutes left, amen. So we're going to get out of your way. For there's a word today found in the Romans, Romans the 12th chapter. Romans chapter 12, amen. And I told you I'm not going to worry you long. Romans 12, amen. And I thank God, amen, for the world's greatest musician, amen. Brother Jacobs, amen. Amen. We just call him Maestro. Amen. Now, I know everybody got a great musician, but can't nobody top Brother Jacobs. Amen. So we thank God for our musician. Travels with us everywhere. Amen. Amen. Romans. Amen. Chapter 12. Amen. Beginning at the 16th verse. When you find this signal by saying amen, when you, if you're still looking, say holy preacher. Amen. I hear somebody hollering at me, so the train won't leave without you. Romans chapter 12, beginning at that 16th verse. And the word of God reads as this. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condense to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. 
I believe that's enough to preach with right there. You may be seated if you can in the presence of God. Look at your neighbor or the person beside you and say, neighbor. Oh, you really got to look at them. It's after 5 o'clock. They don't eat and they're ready to go. And say, neighbor, when the setup backfires. Want to preach or talk just for a little while. When the setup backfires. When the setup backfires. Simply all of us know the story about Paul and some of the things that Paul had to endure. And many of us know that while we're on this Christian journey, it's not always every day like Sunday. And every day is not always like the month of May uh, because we know that sometimes we have shipwrecks uh, and sometimes we have trials and tribulations. Uh, but if we live like the Bible says, then we are sure to get some bumps and some bruises. Uh, but simply we've got to understand that even though the enemy tries to set us up, uh, there always has a way of things backfiring. Uh, and we're going to find out how things can backfire. Uh, simply one of the things that we've got to understand, Paul endured some things. Uh, but simply the first thing I want to point out is Paul wanted the people to understand I don't have time to treat people the way they treat me. Uh, simply you've got to understand uh, that you don't have time. Look at somebody and say, I ain't got time, I ain't got time. Because it's funny that folk got a funny way of treating it. One day folk like you, the next day they don't like you. Some days they speak and some days they don't speak. Everybody knows somebody like that. Can I be real for a moment? But simply, Paul said, I, I understand that evil for evil is not God's way. Uh, and simply, we live in a world where there's so much evil around us. Uh, a lot of us may not like one of the candidates that's running for president. Uh, and we know that some folk want him out. Uh, but simply, let me tell you, evil for evil is not always good. Uh, Sometimes you got to step back. And let God fight the battle. Uh, for the old soldier said, if you be still and let God fight the battle, everything will be all right. Uh, but simply, you got to understand that we're living on borrowed time. Uh, and because we are living on borrowed time, uh, we don't have time to go back and forth with people. Uh, there are some folk that you ain't going to change. Uh, there are some folk they are going to be the way they are until Christ's return, baby. Uh, stop losing sleep. Uh, stop running your blood pressure up. I used to get bothered when folk did not speak to me uh, or when folk had funny with me uh, and my wife had to tell me it ain't you that they don't like uh, sometimes it's the God that's on the inside of you that folk don't like can I be real for a moment Sometimes the anointing that you carry disturbs them. Uh, they don't know how to deal with you, so that's why they got to say some kind of things to you because they don't know how to take your anointing. Look at your neighbor say, can you handle me? Don't answer that. You got to ride home with some of these people. Uh, simply, here Paul was. He said, be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things. But condensed to men of low estate, be not wise in your own conceit. Uh, simply what Paul was trying to tell us, uh, that we ought not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. Uh, and I'm so glad that uh, Reverend Zach shared, he said he had to call out everybody. Uh, because there's some folk that get mad when you don't call them. Uh, well, do you know who I am, Reverend Dr. Such and Such? Let me tell you the word, say so you ought not think of yourself more highly than you ought to. Uh, because let me tell you, that ain't nothing but a title. Uh, and there's so many folk uh, that are walking around in the body of Christ with a title and don't know how to treat folk uh, and talking about they going to heaven. Uh, baby, you got some work. Yeah. 
and you wonder why folk may not come or, or worship with us sometime. Uh, we got to examine ourselves. We got to look at our attitudes. Uh, let me tell you, just because we've been in the church all of our life don't mean we know it all. Uh, can I help the house for a moment? Because sometimes you got folk that are serving in roles for 30 and 40 years. Uh, they did nothing four years and you let them serve 40 years? But simply, y'all said it was revival. Simply, but we got to be real with ourselves. Uh, simply, we got to get to the place that all of us can still yet learn something. Uh, I don't care how old or how young we are. All of us ought to be able to still yet learn something. Uh, somebody ought to be able to teach us something. And simply, this is what Paul was trying to tell them. Paul said, I don't have time to entertain y'all foolishness. I, I don't have time to keep going back and forth uh, with folk that ain't trying to go nowhere. Uh, but there's some folk that made up in their mind, I'm trying to go somewhere with my life. Uh, if you want to be miserable, baby, you be miserable. You and Luther let the chair be the chair, but I'm going on with Jesus just the same. And here Paul was trying to tell them uh, that folk are going to talk about you. Folk are going to mistreat you. Sometimes folk are going to overlook you. But you can't allow that to get in your spirit. Uh, you can't entertain what other folk are doing to you. Because you got to remember, you still yet trying to make it in. And the word said that we are scarcely, the righteous are going to scarcely make it in. Why waste your time on folk that ain't going nowhere? Folk that ain't trying to change. Folk that, and most of the time, the folk that act up uh, don't have the relationship they say they have with the Lord. Uh, and that's why they act the way they act. Uh, because if they had a relationship with the Lord, they'll watch how they talk to folk. Uh, if y'all hear me, somebody ought to say amen. Simply. Paul wanted them to understand. He said in verse 17, recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Simply, uh, next thing I want to point out, uh, uh, be brave enough to talk to folk. Uh, be brave enough to talk to folk. Uh, see, some of us, we brave enough to talk behind people back. Uh, can I be real for a moment? Uh, we brave enough to say all kind of stuff. Have you ever walked in a room uh, and, and, and everybody having a good time. Uh, everybody just, just getting down with the program, Deacon Jeff Cote. Uh, everybody saying different stuff, Mama, Mama Smith. Uh, everybody got a whole lot to say. Uh, they, time you walk in the room. But you were just running your mouth. Uh, but simply, we got to be careful. Who we put our mouth on. Be careful who you talk about. If you're not brave enough to say it to their face, uh, don't open your mouth and say nothing at all. Can I bring it to the church for a moment? You don't like the pastor, so you get a group of folk and y'all just have a good Sunday evening. You know, I don't like that anyway. You know how he do it. You know how she do it. Uh, you, you know, I don't like nothing they do down there. But guess what? You don't like nothing, but you still showing up because you know it's the truth when they're preaching and teaching the word. You don't like them people, but you show sure smile and grin in their face. Some of you showing 32, some showing nothing, and some showing what you got left. But as I tell my church, if you ain't got nothing, smile anyway. Show them what you got. Let them know you don't phase me. Too many times we cannot enjoy Jesus uh, all because we worried about the chatter that folks saying in and around us. Uh, don't worry about those folk. Uh, you ain't came here for them. Uh, you came so that God might get the glory. So many times we won't worship the Lord all because we worried about what other folk won't say about us. If you shout every Sunday, baby, shout every Sunday. Uh, if you got to run every Sunday, run every Sunday uh, because your neighbor don't know your story. And they don't know half of what you're going through. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, 
You don't even know. Uh, you, you, you don't even know. Let me tell you, you can live in the house with folk uh, and you still don't know. Uh, they can be your children. They can be your mama, your daddy. Uh, but you still don't know. And we got the nerve to go back and forth with folk. Uh-uh. This is sometimes, it said be peaceable to all men. Let me tell you, the reason you got to be peaceful uh, is because some folk are lying between life and death. Uh, you don't know it was their last train. They said, if I can get to the house of God, uh, they don't come for mess, uh, but they come to get a word. There's somebody in this room that can testify. I've been through some things in my life uh, that I don't want to hear no junk. I just want to hear a word from the Lord. Somebody's in the fight of their life. And we got to be mindful of how we treating them. You talking about their clothes, but that's all they had to put on. Uh, you talking about how they look. Uh, you don't know they just worked a 12-hour shift, uh, but they still yet showed up. I don't got in the habit when folk don't show up to church, I don't ask them where you been. I, I tell them I'm glad to see you uh, because you don't know what they were fighting while they were out. So many times we so nosy and we think we know people, but you don't know what your neighbor fighting with. It took the push for somebody to even come today. And let me tell you, so many times, that's why we can't be enemies. If we operating in the same church, why are we hating on one another? There's enough work for all of us. But that's the problem. Churches are divided all because folk get mad with one another and that becomes your enemy. You got it out mad from you get mad with them and guess what? You go to another church uh, and guess what? All of y'all family when you tell the truth, uh, stop getting mad with one another. I preached a couple Sundays ago, love your family. Uh, and Living Waters can tell you, we want you to embrace of loving your family. If you come to Living Water, guess what? You're going to learn how to love everybody. Uh, because one thing, we love everybody. Uh, because the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you. That's why I don't have time to be jealous. But if you're going to talk about somebody, be brave enough to tell them to their face. Why, why are you saying that, Pastor? I said I don't like them. Well, can I tell you what the word said? The Bible says if you have aught with your sister or your brother. Am I in the house? It said you go to them. Bring them to the altar. Bring them. But guess what? If they fail to hear, bring them to the church. And if they don't want to hear, guess what? That's them. They got that reprobate mind. You've done your part. Let me tell you, you can't make it to heaven any kind of way. You can't make it to heaven with hate in your heart. But you got to love everybody, even those folk that don't love you. And let me tell you, I, I, don't, I don't got so brave with it. Folk, I know that don't like me. I go smiling, hugging, and I'm glad to see you because I want them to know, guess what? You ain't going to run me off. Uh, you ain't going to make me miss heaven. I'm going to hug you anyway, baby. Look at your neighbor and say, you've been talking about me? Oh, Lord, please don't answer that. Pastor Smith, I ain't trying to start nothing. I ain't trying to start nothing. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Because somebody, you, oh, somebody waiting on you to get a real answer. Get it out the church. Get it out the church. Out the church. Outside of Mount Pleasant parking lot. Let me get on out of here. And it goes on to say, if it be possible, verse 18, as much as life in you, live peacefully with all men. It says, if it be possible. That's the point. If it be possible. Good God Almighty. Oh, Lord, I've been around long enough to understand that sometimes it just ain't possible with some folk. And let me tell you, I found out, brother, that it's the church people. That sometimes you just can't, you just can't deal with them. And that's the bad part about it. They're supposed to be children of God. It ain't even possible for you to even go to them because of the demeanor, the spirit that they carry. But let me tell you, if you can't go to them, guess what? Pray for that spirit, what's on the inside of them. Because God has a way of dealing with people better than you can. God will humble the same folk. 
Them same folk that were talking about you, they'll need you in the end. Let me get ready to move out of here. Verse 19 says, Dearly beloved, talking to everybody, it didn't leave nobody out. It said, Dearly beloved, we ain't at a wedding, but he just wanted to make it clear to you. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Well, what does Paul mean by that? Uh, well, simply you got to go back just a little bit, Pastor Smith, uh, to Romans 8 and 18, uh, uh, Reverend Minor, uh, where it says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time uh, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Uh, simply, Paul said, I don't understand now uh, why I'm going through what I'm going through. Uh, why they put me in the predicament that I'm in. Uh, but Paul said, I'm not going to fight with them uh, because I'm going to step back and let God deal with them. Uh, and what I'm trying to tell somebody, uh, there are folk that might be digging ditches for you, uh, but sometimes they dig so deep uh, that they get stuck in the same ditch that they dug for you. Uh, that's how things can backfire. Uh, and the same people that have a way of talking about other folk uh, and exposing other folks' life story, uh, God sometimes will let that thing turn around uh, and expose your family uh, and expose your wrongdoing. Uh, so be careful who you put your mind on. Uh, because let me tell you what it said, vengeance is mine, uh, said the Lord. Uh, God has a way when he says, I'll make your enemies, your footstool. Uh, and there's some folk that might have been talking about you. Uh, there's some folk that might have been saying all kind of matter of evil about you. Uh, but simply you got to make up in your mind uh, that I'm not going to let them disturb my peace uh, because I know that God's going to fight my battle. Uh, but I need about two people uh, that not ashamed today uh, to get on your feet uh, and grab your neighbor by the hand uh, and say neighbor uh, I know they've been talking uh, uh, but go ahead and let them talk uh, but tell them God's about to show up uh, and they're about to show out uh, on your behalf uh, I came to tell somebody uh, because God said uh, that I'll make you the lender uh, and not the barrier. Uh, he said, I'll make you the head uh, and not the tail. Uh, is there anybody believe uh, that God's about to pull you out uh, for every lie uh, that's been told on you? Uh, everything that is said in secret. Uh, I'm reminded where he said uh, that every tongue that rises up against you uh, shall be condemned in judgment. Uh, so don't worry about what they said about you uh, but when folk talk about you uh, you ought to get glad uh, because that means that I'm popular baby uh, that you got to keep my name uh, in your mouth uh, so keep talking about me uh, keep wondering how I'm doing it uh, look at your neighbor and say neighbor uh, if you're wondering uh, how I got here uh, say it's by the grace uh, of God uh, I've been lied on uh, I've been talked about. Uh, I've been walked over. Uh, but by the grace of God, uh, I'm still standing. Uh, is there anybody still standing? Uh, I need about two people uh, that can just lift up holy hands uh, and say, Lord, I thank you uh, that I did not die uh, where they left me at. Uh, you might have a snake bite, uh, but you survived that. Uh, you might have had a shipwreck, uh, but you survived that. Uh, tell them, say, look at me now. Uh, I look better uh, than I ever look. Uh, I'm going places uh, where they said I could not go. Uh, so I came to tell somebody. Uh, wipe the tears from your eyes uh, lift up your head uh, and go forward in Jesus name uh, don't worry about what folks say about you uh, don't worry about how they look at you uh, but if you got to give God a praise uh, and let folk know 
can I help the house for a moment? Uh, and when you see folk praising the Lord, uh, they're not praising because they're going through nothing. Uh, but there are some folk that's praising uh, because they survived the lies. Uh, they survived the scandal. Uh, they survived disappointment. Uh, they said, through it all, uh, I'm still yet here. Uh, because when you wrote me off, uh, God wrote me in. Uh, when you set the door, baby, God opened up the door. Uh, when you tried to block me, God led me around. And because he did it, I, I'm blessed. Uh, I know I'm blessed. Uh, and can I help the house for a moment? Uh, and there's some folk uh, that's thinking you're going to die. Uh, but can I serve you notice? Let me tell you what we said at Living Waters. Uh, you're going to live to see it happen. You're gonna live to see it happen. See, didn't think you were gonna live, huh? but I'm here to tell you, you're gonna live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. You're gonna live to see it happen. Let them lie. Let them do what they do. But I'm here to tell you, you're gonna live to see it happen. Let me tell you, you're gonna outlive some of them. Some of them same folk that talked about you. Some of them same folk that put rumors out about you. Guess what? Don't fight with them. You ain't even got to post about them. Because God said, vengeance is mine. And let me tell you, everybody running to Facebook, and I'm going to sit down when I say this, because uh, I know y'all going to be mad. Huh? Everybody running and posting on Facebook. Huh? But don't put it on Facebook, huh? because one day you're going to have to face the book. Huh? And when you face the book, you got to give an account for every word that you're saying, in secret and in private. Don't worry about what they're setting up because it's going to backfire. God going to let you hear what they're trying to do. All you got to do is just sit there, smile, look pretty. Uh, Miss Celia said it blessed. Uh, I might be black. Uh, I might be ugly. But thank God I'm here, baby. No matter what they say, I'm here. God bless you and may heaven forever smile down upon you. praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the setup backfired. I wasn't any witness out there. Anybody ever had to set something up against you and God turn it around? Can I get a witness? What they made for evil? God turn it around? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. We serve that kind of God. Are you turning around? Yes, we will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, preacher. When the setup backfire, and how many know if you know the Lord Jesus Christ, any setup is going to backfire. Hallelujah. Maybe there's somebody here tonight. You don't know Jesus. Maybe you know church, but you don't know Jesus. Maybe you've been in church, but you don't know Jesus. And there's a difference. You know, the Bible says he's coming back for a church. He ain't coming back for no building. No. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecost, he ain't coming back for them. He's coming back for those who've been washed in the blood. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, I tell you what, you set us in the right place, amen? Matter of fact, we can't have a revival until we 
of revive. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. So, and so if you're seeking vengeance, we ain't going to have no revival. If you don't want to try to live peaceful with everybody, we ain't going to have no revival. So you put us in the right path, preacher. So if you're here tonight, you don't know Jesus. You know, many times we make it so difficult to be saved. But John 3, 16 say, God so loved the world that whosoever believe in him shall have everlasting life. And he goes on to say, I'll be the name next day. Those that don't believe, they're already condemned. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the door. He's the door. Thank you, Lord. And guess what? Mount Pleasant don't have the door. Living water don't have the door. Plus spring don't have the door. Jesus said, I am. Oh, you got to come through me. So if you're here tonight. And you see, I have heard folks say, you know, I'm trying to get to heaven. You don't have to try to get to heaven. Salvation is a, a sure thing. When Jesus got up on the third morning, he paid the penalty of death. He paid it in full. Can I get a witness? You know, when you get your ticket to ride a train or ride a a bus, you're just waiting for the bus to come. I already got my ticket. I ain't worried about that. I'm just waiting on the bus to come. So if you're here tonight and you don't know, you're not sure, you know you can be for sure. You can be sure. You don't have to try to get to heaven. You can live to get to heaven. So if you're here tonight and you're not sure, would you come in this bowl at the altar and talk to the Lord? You know, you don't see one thing. I'm so glad that I don't have to tell Pastor Copley nothing about me. I can go straight to my goal. The old folks, was, the old folks say I got, a, I got a telephone. I got a telephone in my bosom. I can call them up when I get ready. So if you here tonight, you Lord, come on, come on. Come on. I just want to thank everyone. Come on. You, Lord. You know you don't know the Lord Jesus. Come on. Oh, Let him in. Let him in. You, let him in. Lord. Come on and let Somebody him in. got a reason to thank God let him in. tonight. Come on and thank. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, come on and thank. Thank, thank you, Lord. I just, I I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask every person to mount, belong to Mount Pleasant so that can walk. Would you come? Come on. So come on, Mount Pleasant. So good. How many of y'all know he been so good? Oh, he been. Yes, he have. Yes, he have. Oh. be honest with ourselves. There is some broken fellowship among us. Oh, that's not just here, that's oh, everywhere. Way. There's some broken fellowships among us. He may but if we're going to reach the dying world, ooh. then we're going to have to 
unite ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Yeah. I love you. Just give me the music. Just give me the music. I stand before God none of you won't be there to give a witness for or against me I stand there by myself thank you Lord so I'm saying that say don't worry about that person standing beside you when you stand before God they can't bring no charge against you or they can't speak on your behalf I'm sure all of us here tonight, we have some family members that need help. Maybe it's us. We, we, have to, we can roll that back. All of us. Anybody got any issues? Anybody got any issues in their life? At least one. At least one issue. At least one thing. God, I need you to work on. Just one thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's a fountain filled with blood. Draw it from Emmanuel, man. Oh, God, as you, as you just dive in there. Don't clean up and dive in there. Dive in there with all your sin. Dive in there with all your meanness and all your hate and all your bitterness. Just dive in there. And he'll clean you. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we come tonight not for sure fashion, but we come in the future standing before you. So shine your light on us. God, pick us up. God, touch us where you need. Turn us around, pick us up, redirect us. That we'll be about your business. Thank you, Lord. That our coming this week won't be in vain. But somebody will hear about your goodness and come running. What must I do to be saved? Thank you. God, will you restore the preacher now? Refill him now with everything that he'll pour out tonight. Help us to run with that word. Run with that word of life. Let somebody know tonight that whatever they're going through, you can fix it. And you will fix it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, they've done you wrong, but God, let, 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 let them know that you know, that you know all about it. And you say, vengeance is yours. Go ahead and live your life and rejoice. Stop trying to get people back. Live your life in joy for it. Vengeance is mine. He said, I'll repay. God, would you bless this week? Send some Lord for a girl, man, or woman, that they might turn their life around. We thank you now. We claim it. In the name of Jesus. Come on and tell him, thank you, Lord. Lord. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Come on and thank Thank you, Lord. You. It's yours. Whoa. Whatever you need, it's yours. Come on, man. Man. Come on. Come on.
The setup is going to backfire. Amen. You you can you can you can just wait on it. You can say, I know it, I know it's gonna happen. I'm just gonna roll in. I know it's gonna happen. No weapon form against you. No weapon. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mount Pleasant. Thank you, Pastor. And Black Spring, thank you all for coming. Thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. I, I, I go back way back with uh, Black Spring. I was telling somebody the other day uh, about Pastor Lewis. I said, yeah, we, we serve the same family. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. God bless you. Amen. Somebody said, two times a preacher want to preach. And when a preacher get up and preach, and when he get up and don't preach. That's when another preacher want to preach. Thank you, Pastor. I certainly want to thank all of you for coming tonight, those who visit. Thank you for coming and being a part of the service. I want to thank the musicians and choir. Thank God for all of you. Amen. On tomorrow night, we will start at 730 we will have new life and uh, Pastor Quincy on tomorrow night. And on Tuesday night, we'll have uh, Pastor Robinson and Mount Olive, Amy Church. Did I get it wrong? Let, let me stick with tomorrow night then. Let me, st <laughs> let me, let me stick with tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, new life. <laughs> My life, Pastor Go, Pastor. Quincy Sutton and New Life. Amen. We're going to turn this over to back over to Pastor Copeland. He's going to give us the benediction. Amen. Again, Mount Pleather, we love you. We love you. Pleasure Springs, we love you. Living Water, we love those of you from whatever church you're from, but you're not even with the church. We love you. Amen. Amen. Because, because we know that we can't get into heaven hating people. Now, I ain't going to let nobody keep me. Amen. Let's give God some more praise. Amen. 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 I'm just like Pastor Smith. I ain't going to let nobody cause me to lose my seat. Amen. Ain't nobody worth it. Cause you to lose your seat. Amen. Love everybody. If we put a little love in our heart, this world would be a better place if we just put a love in our heart. Amen. And when Pastor Smith was talking and I'm done, I all back to Platte Spring, amen, and I remember the late deacon Eugene Anderson would be singing, I see the sign of the judgment, amen, and we truly see the sign of the judgment, amen, and that's why we got to get right, that's why we got to love everybody, because time is winding up, amen, and we just thank God for this opportunity, amen, and we want to say to you, Pastor Smith, thank you for trusting us enough to give God's word on today, and we thank God for Mount Pleasant, amen, and we pray God continue to bless your revival, amen, and we look forward, amen, to continue to fellowship with you all, amen, and we're excited. Pastor Smith will be coming up to us for our revival to open up in September, amen, so we are looking forward to that, amen, and you all joining us in September, amen. And doing our revival. Amen. And I thank God for all my family that's here. Amen. And we're going home because everybody's ready to go. Amen. Everybody say.
Everybody say, everybody say, amen, amen, amen. Father God, we thank you now for what our eyes have seen. And what our ears have heard. Now, God, we ask that you would cover these, your children. Keep them safe in your care, God. God, let them continue to have a blessed week. And, God, we pray that you would continue to bless this revival. God, continue to bless this church, Platt Spring, and any other church that might be present. God, bless all these pastors. Keep them in your care. We ask all these things now in your son Jesus' name. And all your children said amen and amen.